you're also passionate about homeschooling. Yeah. And I wanted to ask you about that. Uh, when I first came in, your kids were all excited. And <laughs> I recently had a conversation with the teacher who said that homes he's not so fond of homeschooling because sure. he doesn't feel that it gives the kids a social component. So if they do go to school later, they don't have the, that social connection with other students. And right. that's exactly the opposite of what I saw with their kids. <laughs> their kids are so, so, they're more social than I am and yeah. I feel embarrassed. So um, <laughs> is there a limit? Is there an age limit to when you think that kids should stop being homeschooled and start going to school? <laughs> There's a number of different educational philosophies out there. We basically focus on one, right, in school only. We basically focus on one. Um, you get a lot more freedom and flexibility. As far as the, I mean, you, you already spoke to the evidence of they're very social. Um, but I always find that funny when people, because I hear that all the time, and I think it's kind of funny because as a teacher and with other teachers, they're always telling kids to stop socializing. Like, that's the constant thing. Stop talking to each other. Get off your phone. Turn around. Don't, right? You don't get, you don't have an opportunity to really choose, like, choose who you're spending your day with. Your schedule, you don't pick your schedule. You don't pick who you're with. If you happen to be with your friends or people you're friendly with or people who uh, share your values or things like that, then that's great. And then if you're not, this is, you know, this is part of where bullying, if you're bullied in the real world, typically you can somehow get away from your bully or limit the amount of time you're exposed to them. You're stuck in this classroom with these, you know, the same people, whatever. Like, I don't, I don't think that that's, I don't think school is necessarily the model for what socialization should be. As far as there being a limit, uh, it's just good, part of, and part of the book talks about this too, it's just good to know that there are options, right? Because I think so many people, it, it, it comes down to, tr it comes down to you, all right? <laughs> it comes down to a choice. Most people don't choose school; they just go to school because that's what, that's how I was with college, and really that's how I was with I think probably with high school. And I never really thought there was any option, right? Is everyone goes to school, and so you go to school, and that's what you do. It's never like it's not. I didn't say, oh, I think I I, I choose school, right? I never chose school. It's just something that I did. I think it's important for for. And I think it's important for it to be a family decision, but I also think it's important for families to know that there are many different ways to become educated. There's many different thoughts of what it means to be educated, even when that means, are you an educated person? Well, I have lots of degrees, right? Like, I don't know, I don't have any degrees, but I've, I've been to lots of countries where I have lots of degrees and I, whatever it is, right? Uh, I know how to cook, so that means I'm educated, whatever. There's lots of different ways you can even think about what that means to be educated. Um, and then the question is, is there such a thing as too much education? Have you been, have you been educated so much that you look exactly like everyone else, right? You've, sta you've standardized yourself. Everyone's taken English 9, 10, 11, and 12. Everyone's taken biology and, and, and algebra, and everyone's taken trigonometry. And so if you think of it in terms of getting a job and you look just like everyone else when you're applying to a job, how is that very helpful? If you think of it in terms of, oh, I'm an interesting person that adds value to my social circle, then if you're exactly like everyone else in your social circle, then how does that really add value to things also? I just, this is where I am very passionate about. I, I think it's very important for people to know that they have options and to exercise those and not to be scared to exercise those options.